Welcome back to another episode of my Minnesota Dynasty here on NCAA 13. Uh, you see right here, starting off, we got Brandon Crooks, who's a three-star running back from Florida, committed at, like just after I ended the last video. He was gonna, he was, he was ready to visit, so I went to schedule a visit for him, and then he just committed on the spot. So, um, yeah, uh, I think he was the only guy that we have coming this week. Yeah, I got I, so I'll, I'll I'll do some recruiting on some of these guys, and we also had so last week we had Mike Blake commit, uh, not commit, but uh, come in for a visit, the free safety I was recruiting, and he he got he had, he got an a, or I guess we got an we got an A from him, so I think that's like the highest I've ever gotten, so that's cool I guess. And it looks like I'm gonna pick these last three guys up, but I'm gonna recruit them, and we'll hop into the game. We got uh, who do we have this week? We have. I'm trying to remember without look. We have Illinois. That's what we got. We got Illinois. All right. In the game, you see Lauren Patrick there. Stats, not too great. But it's, it feels like well, he's never really on the field. I don't know why. It, it feels like he does not play that much. Well, we're at Illinois. We lose the toss. They're probably going to kick. Yep. So we're going to be starting out on offense. We'll just spit all over my mic. All right, I'm sorry for that. Cook with Tarnan starting off from about the 2. And that's going to be a hold, so we're going to start at around the 15. All right, first play of the game is going to be a run to Stan Smith, who is back after he missed like the, the, the second half of last week's game with an injury. And Florida State beats Virginia Tech. That's, that's, a, that's the second time um, Virginia Tech has lost to an unranked team from Florida, I guess. They lost to a three-win Miami team, like thirteen to nine, and then they lost. And then they, you saw they lost. You saw they just lost to FSU. Second and nine, gonna hit Grant on the slant, and <laughs> he drops it because of course he would. So third and nine. Every time I run this play, RB the running back uh, usually gets open, so he's gonna be my main look here. And we fit it into Stan Smith. Up to about the 37. Good throw and catch to keep the drive alive. Let's go, man. I got a speed option here. Williams in the backfield. See what we got working with. Toss to Williams. He picks up five. Here we are, second and five. Going to cancel the play action. Got X over the middle. That's Cook. And he gets rocked. But we get into Minnesota territory. He big gain right there. Offense has been cooking. I li I'm, liking, I've been, I'm liking what I'm seeing on this first drive here. Got Grant in the slot. Bennett on the outside. Kind of dumping down to Turner. He cuts it up. Only picks up one. Not a great pass. I was looking at Y there. And I, I, I kind of, I, I might have been able to hit him, but like he, he ran a corner out. And Cook has a foot contusion. He'll be, he'll be back soon, which means more playing time for right, which is nice. Smith picks up six on second and nine, so third and three. Another studio update. As Indiana is up seven on Wisconsin. Uh, we played, we played Wisconsin, and we got rocked by, no, was that the game we, yeah, no, we almost beat them, we were up like 10 in the fourth quarter and ended up choking it, F throwing that into Daniels, and it's incomplete, fourth and three though, I think I'm just gonna go for this, yeah, they're, they're, uh, the game's telling me to, I mean, I'll, I, I'm too far for a punt, and I'm, I mean, I'm too far, I'm too, cl I'm, what, what's the, I'm too, I'm too close for a punt, but too far for a field goal. Got right. He hangs on. Gets inside the 25. Let's go. Love, love right. I, I love right. I love all the receivers, really. Besides, um, I mean, they all, they're all pretty good. But they all have, a, they all, they all drop, they all drop a lot of passes. It's like, I'm telling you, they be, they know what, what play you're running. Like I, I switched to the running play and the guy moved to the right and I switched to the I switched back to the shovel option and the guy moved back to the left. So that just ain't fair. And they are second eleven from about the twenty-five. 
Let's see what we got. Throwing that up. Bennett in the back of the end zone. That's a touchdown. Let's go, man. Jumping out to an early 7-0 lead. That was a dime, too. I was contemplating throwing it because I saw that DB right there, but that was placed perfectly. 7-0. Illinois kind of looks like Clemson with these uh, with the orange jerseys that they got. But first and 10 for them. They're gonna their quarterback's gonna scramble, picks up five, so I definitely gotta put up a uh a spy to try to hold him. But second and five. It's gonna be play action. I'm dropping dropping back. Lot no pressure at all. The throwing it up. Moore is there for the interception. And we got a little bit of space. Can we get make a man miss up to about the thirty? Good play by good play by the safety more. Who I believe will come back next season. I know, I, I say a lot of random stuff at random times, but I was there's out of out of most of the out of like most of the team, we're only gonna lose a couple important players. Like we're losing Lee Lewis, which is gonna suck, and we're losing two of our we're losing basically all of our linebackers. So that's gonna be tough on the defense. But outside of that, and we're losing like a receiver and a tight end. But other than that, I mean, we don't like there's really nobody. Ma like majority of the team is going to be back next season so and we've been playing pretty well with just this team and then you add the recruits that we're going to get who some of them will start oh god just throw it away okay <laughs> that was a terrible play by me another pa another studio update and Kansas oh, that's a good game right there Kansas State is up 20 to 10 on number seven, uh, TCU. Third and one. Gonna go. Gonna run. With, gonna run a read option here. And I'm not gonna for. Uh, I'm not gonna force anything. It's only one yard, so I, I'm gonna. Be, I, I should be able to pick it up with Stan Smith. Bouncing it to the right. That's the easy conversion. Up to about the 46, 47. First and ten. Fake the jet sweep. Got the tight end open, and I get hit as I threw it. Incomplete. Couldn't get it off quick enough. Had him too. For a, it would have been a huge gain, at least a first down. But we'll bounce back though. Second and ten. Let's see what we got. So this play I, I usually like. Gonna scramble with Lewis. Pick up six. Third and four. I think I'm gonna end up going for it, regardless what happens here. This is definitely a go for it situation. Third and four. I should be able to convert this, though. Oh, nope. I just, nothing got open. I'm going to have to punt it back. I think one thing that I don't do that I definitely should do is I need, I need to start scrambling. Just take it down and run. Like that. And he fumbles. Cooper recovers it. And Cooper is going to take it for a score. 14 to nothing. Let's go, man. Defense scores another touchdown. We had... Did we have one last week or was that the week before? We had, we played Michigan last week. I want to say we had the pick six last game. But there we are, man. 14 nothing. First and 10. It's going to be a handoff to Miranda, who takes has a big hole and picks up 10. They're a no huddle team, of course they are. Gonna send a blitz. Get him, Carter! No! Blanco, big hit, big hit! Alright, he picks up three. He breaks like three tackles, so he's better off just going down. Did all that effort for two extra yards. I think I put up a spy. And we bring him down after he picks up three, third and four. Definitely going to send a blitz here. Uh, whatever pops up. Just going to let it go. That's a, that's a it's quick throw away. Fourth and four, we're going to be getting the ball back. Good stop by the defense. All right. For opening play of this second quarter. Going to be a handoff to Stan Smith, and he falls forward and picks up two. 
Gonna go with no huddle because I think there was a play in that formation that I really like. Unless it was a different one. Yeah, it was this play action. It was this PA deep in. And guns in the game. That can only mean one thing. Which means Lewis is injured yet again. Surprise, surprise. Gun delivers a dime to Cook though. Picks about 13. I mean, I don't, I don't even know when he got hurt because I didn't even do anything. Unless he got injured on that last sack on the last drive. Which I guess would make sense. But I'll, let's hope he can come back. Because Gunn's played way too many snaps. Or this, yeah, way too many snaps this season. We, what a hurt out to Grant, though. I mean, Grant, uh, Dunn ain't bad. I'm not going to say he's like, I'm not going to say he's a terrible backup. Because when he's played, he's made plays. Like, he hasn't done terribly. I just, I'd just rather have Lee Lewis and I like the uh, dual threat ability. But we also have Williams in the game. He falls forward, picks up nine on his first carry. Not bad. A couple nice blocks there. Alright, second and one. Well, I was going to run this play action, but I think I'm just... Nah, I'm going to cancel the play action. Just thought that away. That was, that was bad. Third and one. This is, I'm just going to run it here. Just run up the gut with Stan Smith or Williams, whoever's in the game. Just try to pick up this extra yard. Now, it does look like they're clogging the line of scrimmage. But I should be able to bounce this outside. Yep. Up to the 31. First down. Let's go. Keep it moving. And Stan Smith just got hurt again. This, this, these, 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 these guys are made of glass, man. Him and uh, and Lee Lewis get injured like once a game, and that is a terrible play. That count as a fumble. I mean, he just insta shedded off two guys and came just, just screaming in. I don't know why. It doesn't matter if it's a booth review or not. I, I guess I'd rather have it be an incomplete pass. Because it'd be like 2nd and 10 instead of like 2nd and 15 or something. Yeah, so they call it an incomplete pass. So, I mean, I, uh, that's better for me, I guess. Give me like 5 extra yards. Second and 10, let's see what we got here. And nothing. Good coverage. Third and ten. I'm gonna run this this, this corner play because it seems to always work in this situation. So I'm hoping it can it can work one more time for me. Third and ten. Back of the end zone. There's three people there and that's picked off. I don't know. I I suck at at user catching it. I mean, that probably would have been picked regardless, but I mean, it's 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 a lot different from Madden, where I can just kind of press triangle or Y, and then and know that I'll go up to make a play, or at least I mean, at least try to bring it down. But this game, it's a lot different. We get the pressure off that edge and force them to throw it away. Good job. Second and ten. Here we are. Second and ten. Gonna put up another spy on Jones. I see what we got working. And we get we bring him down. That's Carter with another sack on this season for him. I don't even know what number that is. Maybe six or seven? Something like that. And Smith has a pulled hamstring, so he's gonna be out for the rest of the season. I mean he he'll be back for the bowl game. We back for the bowl game, but that's it. And over the middle, horn horn is there. Cannot get the interception, but fourth down we're getting the ball back. We are first and ten on this next drive. Let's see what we got. Dump it down. Uh, I just I don't hit any throws on the run. I gotta stop. I gotta make sure to set my feet before I throw it. Whether it's Lewis, let me let me see the, let me see the injury. Let me see what it is because I don't even remember him getting hurt. It's a sprained elbow, so one week. So he'll be back in the next game. And I think we'll also be getting Nick White back next week as well. So. That's good news, I guess. Even though we've been playing well without him. But here we are, second and ten, just trying to get something going. I gotta run the ball more. I gotta. I, I, I like to always start off my set of downs with a run. That's an incomplete pass. And I'm, I'm just happy that the offensive line, that everybody's coming back, that everybody's gonna get better, because that's gonna help me out a lot. 
and most of the receivers are coming back as well, which will help me out a lot too. B, over the middle, that's Cook. One man to beat, he beat him. That's a touchdown. Let's go, man. 21 to nothing. And I believe that is Dunn's first touchdown pass on the year. So good for him. And we're extending this lead. Let's go, man. All right. Illinois is back out on offense after that big touchdown. I guess that's a, what did they do last time. They got a three now, I think. First down run goes for 10. It picks, I mean, not, it doesn't pick up a first down, but second inches, so basically a first down. Going to send a blitz here on uh, second and inches. And <laughs> I get right through with more. Bring him down for a loss of eight. It's going to be, th it went from second and inches to third and eight very quickly. Illinois is, uh, Illinois, I don't know, I say Illinois sometimes. I say Illinois, it's weird. They are, uh, oh, got stuck on the D-line. We checked on the Miranda Horn, hits him. But he, not before he picks up the first down. The pressure comes off the edge, and McFadden brings him down for another sack. Good coverage downfield as well, you see at the top of the screen there. Uh, that was right, maybe? Or Mitchell, one of them. With good coverage on that slant. Slants usually beat man coverage, so nice nice to see that. Second and fifteen here though, wide receiver in motion to the right side. It's gonna be a draw, which I usually just don't know how to stop. That's gonna be a face mask, so they're gonna be into our territory. First and ten minutes, so it is at in R at R forty six. Barkley runs up, gets smacked by Horn. I'm not sure if that counts as a sack or not, but if it does, I think that'll be Horn's fifth or sixth sack on the season, I believe. So he's had a great season. From that middle linebacker spot, Ridgeway on the spy brings him down. Third and a third and seven, not third and eight. Gonna send, gonna send some heaters here. Got both the safeties coming in. McFadden and Woods. Or more, sorry. And we get pressure right away and force the incompletion on Tate. Let's go. That was a good play by, uh, I think that might have been Wright out there. Uh, not right. I don't know. I get it mixed up. Uh, we, we caused the incompletion. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter who made the play. And a great punt from Illinois starts us off at the one-yard line. Williams has a hole. Williams falls forward up to the 15. Big run right there from him. Getting us some room to work and picking up the first down. Now let's see if Gunn can keep the magic up. Touching on the last drive. I see the tight end underneath here. And the safety jumps the pass. Linda bringing him down at around the 15. But it's going to be Gunn's second pick of the game. Putting Illinois in pretty good position here to uh, score. Get their first score of the game. But it's not the edge with Blanco, and they fit it in, pick up the first down. I know the game is freezing a lot. I apologize for that. I don't really, I don't really know what I can do about that. It's just an old console. Can we make the play? No, we cannot. He gets in for the score 21 to 7. Alright, here we are. First and ten on this next drive. Fresh off the pick. The tight end gets past the defense. That is Grant. One man to beat. And he cannot beat him, but he gets inside the ten. And what a throw by Gunn right there, man. Making up for that bad pick on the last drive. But, you know, that pick was my fault. I'll take the blame for that. It was more of a good play by the, uh, by the safety than anything. Here we are. Get the block or not. Okay. All right, second and goal. I would run that QB power, but I don't. I don't really know how much of a runner gun is. So I'll just uh get some type of pass. Oh, had, if I if I was just if I was calm in the pocket, that's a touchdown. But third and goal from about the 12, 11 ish. Need need a touch. I mean, we don't really need a touchdown here. It's a three score game with a field goal, so. 
I'll take the points. We fit it into Grant. What a dime that was. And that's 28-7. to seven. He fit that right in between two defenders. That was a perfect pass. Let's go. First and 10. Illinois back out on offense. See what they're going to do. Tight end in motion. Passing out to the wide receiver. I saw him open too. Couldn't get out there. Again, game keeps freezing. First and 10 again. I'm going to sit in man coverage because that usually seems to uh, to work better. It's going to sit in the deep blue. We get a little bit of pressure. Carter and Jones combined for the sack. Bringing him down. Another nice play from Carter. And good job by Jones kind of staying in front of him there. They're throwing it out. Cooper cannot get the pick. But a good play to, to uh, break off that pass. And bring up third down. So you got here, user and Thomas. Gonna gonna rush with him. Coming off that edge and force the incompletion. Fourth and eleven. They're gonna punt it. I'm I'm. This is like this is gonna be the one punt that I'm gonna show because it's probably gonna be the last play of the uh, quarter. Maybe we can make something happen. Shoot. So they're punting it deep. Cook has one return on the year. Let's see if we can make it two. Bouncing it. Oh, yeah. That that right side was open. That's going to take us into halftime. 28-7. Here we are. First and 10. Illinois starting off at their own 25. Barclay scrambling already. And Jones is there to stop him after he only picks up one. Again, good job by the uh, by the spy. Kind of just sitting down. Not letting anything uh, too big happen. It's going to be a draw play we usually struggle against, and McFadden's all over that. Stops him for a four-yard gain. Third and five here. This is definitely just going to send send some heaters. Last time we did that, we forced a quick incompletion. Let's see if we can make that happen again. And Blanco gets in for the sack. Let's go, man. Studio update. Kansas State. I, I don't know if that... I, I guess it's technically an upset since they're higher ranked, but they... Kind of destroy TCU, 30 to 17. All right, after two plays go nowhere, here we are in third and 16. This looks like a blitz, so I'm probably gonna have to let the ball out quickly. It's not a blitz. We have Y under pressure and sacked fumble. We do recover it though, but we're gonna have to punt it away. And a studio update you see right there: unranked Kansas, who only has three wins, upsets Texas Tech, who was ranked 20th going into it. So a lot of upsets are happening, but that's, I mean, that's just college football. Got that underneath. Couldn't get there quick enough. Stopping them for a five-yard gain still, though. Not bad. Second and five, going to send Horn on a blitz. It's a run. Nobody's there, and they pick up the first down. First and ten. Illinois is gonna do here. They're throwing it outside. It's a terrible throw, incomplete. Second and ten for Illinois. Let's see what they're gonna do here. It's gonna be another draw play. We're all over that. Stopping them for an eight-yard gain. Third and two. Definitely gonna send a blitz here. Every every third down, I like to send a blitz just to kind of let them know how we're coming. Moving the guy in motion. I get a free rush with Cooper. Can't get through. Kyle's picks up the first down. Up to about the 26. I don't want to DB blitz again, but it's going to be a bit different. I, I just wish we had an elite pass rusher. That's really something that we don't have. Like a guy that can win one-on-one. -on -one. Like most of our sacks come off come off as blitzes or and, and stuff like that. And I just, I wish that wasn't the case. Because it feels like whenever we have good coverage downfield, it, it always goes like just like un what's the word unrewarded because and we get as we get the TFL there on the on Illinois uh, it just always feels like it gets unrewarded because the the defense never gets any pressure and always someone always gets open after a while that's gonna be a false start bringing up third and eight 
Alright, third and eight here. Almost got stuck on the D-line. Pressure gets through. I missed the sack with Stover. Back of the end zone. That's incomplete. Fourth and eight. They're going to settle for three. This is a tough field goal, so I'm going to show it just in case they miss it. See, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 28 to 10. Here we are on third and nine. First play of the fourth quarter. I know I haven't showed much of this drive because it's mainly just been me running the ball. But here we are. And why was open, but we get sacked, and we're gonna for we're gonna be forced to punt. First play on offense for Illinois, starting off at about the 23. Gonna be another draw, and we have nobody there to stop that. They pick up the first down. They've been killing us with that, man. Draws in this game are seem to really work, unless it's just the defense we're in. It could be that. First and ten from about the 34. Coverage is gonna switch. Yep. Yeah. Blanco can't get the pick. Bringing up second and ten now. Second and ten for Illinois here. So they got to just spy quickly. He's trying to scramble. We're all over that though, and that is Stover or Carter Stover. That was Stover with the sack. That's our sixth sack of the game. We've really been getting after him, which is something that we just haven't done really well all season, but. The blitzes have been working, so I've been sending them. We got another one here. Running back's gone on motion. That that might not be good. All right, throwing it up one on one. McFadden's there. McFadden gets mossed by the running back, and we're unable to bring him down. And that's going to be a touchdown for Miranda, twenty-eight to seventeen. So Illinois did end up going for two and did not convert. So it's going to be 28 to 16 instead of 28 to 17. And most of this drive is going to be me trying to run the ball out. First down to Williams, pick up three. I mean, we haven't really done much this second half because we've just been. Just just trying. Just, just not turning the ball over. That's really all we got to do now. That's just the main goal. Just no turnovers and pick up some yards here and there. Got Grant, the tight end, falls forward for the first down. Let's go. Second and eight here, running four verts. Just going to dump it down to Williams. Breaks the tackle and picks up five, bringing up third and three. Steady update. As Wisconsin, who's 10-0 and now, looking like they might go to the natty, is uh, beats Indiana 35-21. to So here we are on third and three. Need this conversion. I'm looking at the running back. I might just dump it down to him, try to see if he can make a play. I throw it quickly to Cook, and it almost gets picked off. That was risky. Fourth and three, just going to punt it. Well, hope the defense can make a play. Second and 12 for Illinois. On the first play, we did end up bringing him down for a sack, which was nice. Morris, oh, that was terrible by me. I clicked on and kind of got lost there. But, but, um... Third and two. This is definitely going to be a blitzing situation. He gets it out quickly to the running back, Miranda, and he picks up the first. Did we, did we keep him in bounds or did he get out? He did. Uh, I don't know if he got out or not, but uh, not great. It's like nothing guard in the middle. I think a huge play from Carter. Or I think that's Stover. Yeah, that's Stover. Getting that pass break up right there. You see we got some of the backups in. Got Carter, Jones, and Williams. Let's see we got here. Second and ten. He's open. McFadden doesn't make the play. Come on, defense. Stop selling me, man. This is not the time. Alright, in cover one. We got Thomas on a spy. Good for using horn here. Pass rush doesn't really get there, but we forced the incompletion, bringing up second and ten. All right, let's see. Second and ten, gonna use a horn again. They're dumping it down to Tate. We stop him there after he picks up eight, but just not great coverage, man. We need to be up more on that. Third and two. 
Throwing it to the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. It's going to be fourth and two. So this is a huge play right here. Because if we stop him, the game is basically over. Move Blanco over. Kind of put him in better position to stop the running back. It's Miranda to the outside. And I totally whiff on the tackle. It's going to be 28 to 23. All right, here we are for the onside kick. This this is the biggest play of the game right here. We need to pick. We need to get. We need to get this. Wright catches it. Oh, that could have been very bad. So one first down. This game is basically over. So I'm gonna be running the ball out. I'm gonna be running the ball here for the most part. At least on first and second down. If third down, we need to pass it. I'll contemplate passing it. But hopefully we can just pick it up running the ball. And Williams picks up five on the first play. Not bad. Second and five here. Going to be another handoff to Williams. Bounce it to the outside. That's a first down and some. And we get up to about the 25, 30-ish. That's going to be the game, basically. Just got to run these last couple plays out. We secure the win. One more win and we're bowl eligible. And these last two games are very winnable as well. So, Yep. Hopefully, hopefully, we, hopefully we can do it. At least win one of them. That's the goal. Just win one. I know we have Nebraska, who's pretty good. And then we play... Who's the other one? Michigan State. So, I mean, two pretty tough teams. So, they're going to be good games. But, oh, and Toledo is ranked number 11. Okay. So, hopefully we can pull them off and uh, become bowl eligible. And not go 5-7 and seven and miss out on a bowl. <sighs> trying to pad the stats here a little bit with Williams. Touchdown will be nice, but if I don't get it on this play, I'm just going to end it. Alright. You know, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. <laughs> we'll do one more run. Williams is dead tired. Guns tired. Good blocks, though, and Williams gets in for the end zone, just to kind of extend this lead a little bit. 35-23 will be the final score. Going over the stats, Lee Lewis was 5 for 9, 73 yards and a touchdown before he got injured. Anthony Gunn was 9 for 18, 191, two touchdowns, two picks. Rushing, Albert Williams had 16 for 86 and a touchdown. Um, Stan Smith had 7 for 41. Receiving, Patrick Cook with 4 for 93 and a touchdown. J.D. Grant had 4 for 102 and a touchdown. Williams had 13. Bennett, 25 and a touchdown. Wright, 10. Ter Terrell Turner with 1. Stan Smith with 20. Uh, defensively... Bunch of sacks. John Stover with two. David Carter with one. Blanco with one. Moore with one. McFadden with one. Jones with half. And Horn with half. Uh, Moore got the pick. Passed affection for Blanco, Cooper, and Horn. Horn got the forced fumble. Cooper got the fumble recovery and also the touchdown. See right there, we get... Actually, I think, never mind, that was the commit I talked about at the uh, beginning of the episode, my bad. So we're 5-5, five and five, heading into week 12, we got Nebraska, who is ranked 25-7-3. You know, we usually play good against ranked teams. Herb Street has them winning, of course. We still have the number one run defense, which is crazy to me. Nebraska does have a really weak run defense, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. Uh, hopefully we take advantage of that. Uh, let's see if we got any any more any new soft commits that we can look at. Uh, I think Blake is new and Chambers is new. We have two guys coming on our visit. We're up to number one for Brown. So yeah, this is this is gonna be it for the class. I mean, it's just gonna be these these last guys. That's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.